Okay, then finally we're going to add a Q. And this Q is going to be where entities sit when they're being processed on the lathe. And we'll tie this Q to the station member Q. And then we're going to place it right in the mouth of the lathe. So let me first of all line it up in this direction. Then we'll switch to, to a perspective view. Lip, lift it up to where it's lined up right in the mouth of the lathe and then shorten it up to fit in there. Okay, so at this point we've created the external view and now we're going to open up the process view. And the first thing we'll do in the process view is we'll create a new process. And this process, we're going to select the triggering event to be when the station 1 is entered. So whenever an entity enters this st station 1, this process is going to run. Now the process itself, we're going to model with a sequence of steps. And the steps we'll use to model this process be C's, arrive, delay, release, and then depart parent. So the basic flow here is an entity seizes the parent object, in this case the lathe, it arrives to the lathe, that just tells any, anything that's handing the entity off to this object that now this object has it, it delays by the processing time, then releases the, the lathe, and then departs the parent object. Now the delay step, we'd like to pass in the delay time as a property of this object. So to do that, we come down here we right click, we create a new reference property. The default is going to be called delay time. We'll say OK. And now we've created a property for this object that's passing its value into this delay. So at this point, we've created the external view. We've created the process that handles the logic. And now we have a, a new object called a lathe that has the desired behavior that we want. All right, now one final thing we have to do is we have to select the, the parent and we have to tell it when we depart the parent, where do we depart? And we have two options, the input or the output node, and we're going to select the output node. So the entities leaving this object will lead through the output node. Now at this point, we're ready to use this object. So we'll go back to our main model and we can build a model now using the, the object we just built. So we place a source down and a sync from our standard library. But in place of the server, we're going to go to our project library that we're working with here, and we're going to place a lathe down. So this is the lathe that we just built. Now we'll go back to our standard library and connect a path between the source and the lathe. And then we'll connect a path between the lathe and the sink. We'll set a processing time for the for the lathe. And then we can run the model. As you can see, entities are coming through the system, being processed on the lathe, continuing on to the sink, and then being destroyed. So this example shows you how easy it is to take a uh, an object that you want to build from scratch and to create one that just becomes usable like the standard objects that are in the library.